Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Game Pile Power Hour, where uh, my Twitch chat redeems games uh, in my backlog, and I play them because I have too many games in my backlog, and I haven't played enough of them. I also haven't beat enough of them, so this is here to like stir up and give me a shake up, and maybe bring some new games to my life that I own. But anyway, today's game, as you can see below, is Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness for the Nintendo GameCube, redeemed by the one and only Dozer Zagashi. So thank you, Dozer, for that. Uh, my experience with Pokemon doesn't go far outside the mainline series. I kind of dipped out around uh, black and white, X and Y, that whole area. My TV will turn off in 30 seconds, don't you dare. And uh, yeah, so I've never played any of the non-mainline games. Definitely haven't played any of the GameCube games. I don't think I've seen my wife play any of this. I have seen her play Colosseum, and I gotta say, it looks a little boring, the Colosseum one does. But I'm gonna try and wipe that from my memory and give this a fresh perspective and get a, a, give it a fair chance. Kind of a rough copy here, but that's because it's from Roadrunner Video. A rental disc, a rental disc. So let's pop this tiny disc into the GameCube and get things underway. I gotta say, the GameCube logo is super satisfying. Super satisfying. Classic Nintendo with their warning labels and nonsense. Pokemon. There's Dozer, the man, the myth. The legend. Press start here. We go. There is no XD save slot. Yes, I would like to create one. Let me know how the audio is. I feel like my mic is really loud today. Here we go. A uh, new name? Of course, I am. I think this... Yes. In all caps, we're going to scream. I will turn down the game a tad. There we go. Game is turned down. Let me know. The Pokey Yacht. Oh wait. <laughs> These poor guys. You know, I'm honestly surprised that Pokemon weren't weaponized a long time ago. Oh, I'm fighting? Okay. Salamence. I've definitely never played with him before. We got a dragon dance on him. Okay, but we're not going to dragon dance again. Earthquake. Steel doesn't like ground type, right? Damn right. Yo, Fang. Welcome to the game mile power now. Poisoned. I'm gonna die. We'll both die at the same time. How about that? Thank you, Xander. Sim Trainer. Alright, Lucas, this will do for today. Yes, sir, that was a well-played battle. Lucas, your battle skills have improved by an amazing amount. 
I mean, it was impressive the way you handled that big Pokemon with Al Applum. You took command of it, even if it's... No, you took command of it as if it was the same as your Eevee. Don't you think it's the best to consider raising other Pokemon besides your Eevee? Oh, baby. We're playing. Lucas! Alright, I'll stop. <laughs> you have an incredible aptitude for battling. If you keep absorbing knowledge and experience, you'll become an outstanding trainer. There's no doubt about that. The operation of this battle sim system demands precision control. Of course, with that technique, there's utterly no problem. Rest assured, you're in the expert hands while you're plugged in and battling. Dude, it's virtual reality. Who's this guy? Hello, Lucas. Are you done training for now? You must be tired. But seeing you like this, my Lucas, you've grown up to be a fine young lad. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, if you're only your father were here to see how much you've grown. Oh, I'm sorry, I promised I wouldn't mention that. Please, pay it no heed. Well, I guess, uh... I won't talk to those other people. Who? This... this... They knew. This switch is okay. Next to adjust this here. Man, there's so much to do, I'm not far from a panic attack. I might have to take a break. Well, that's right, Lucas, you're gonna take a break. Don't forget to save. Thanks. We're in the midst of developing a system to purify shadow Pokemon. Purify is the term used to describe the process in which a shadow Pokemon's closed heart is made to open again back to its natural state. You see, five years ago, Criminal used artificial means to discover the hearts of Pokemon, turning them into fighting machines. We're developing the system to save such afflicted Pokemon. We call this system the Purify Chamber. It's not necessary in today's peaceful times, but one never knows what may happen. Hi, Lucas. The Purify Chamber is almost ready, but I don't get it. There's no need to purify Pokemon now. I wonder why Professor Crane and Lily are in such a hurry to get the Purify Chamber finished. Oh yes, feel free to use the PC and healing machine. Bliss Bliss. Sorry, Blissey. Oh for, oh for two, chat. <laughs> Hi, you Lucas. Have you seen? Haven't seen you for a while. Are you doing well? Why well, would be working on this special machine for catching Pokemon? Huh? You don't know how it has anything to do with the Purify Chamber? You called it. This Purify, this machine, and the Purify Chamber are both the results of the same project. Having said that, I sincerely hope that there's no need to use this machine. Never arises. Well, guess what? There's gonna be. I'm gonna go back up. There were people upstairs, and I feel like I missed something important. Oh, hello, Lucas. Welcome. I'm writing up a summary on the basis of Pokemon battles. Like I said, it's mostly basic information, but if you care to look, I've written my summary on the whiteboard. After all, the basics are important for a reason. I know how to battle. Hi, Lucas. Have you finished training? Are you ready to go? Lucas, this is the director's office. Did you want to pay a visit to Professor Crane? Ha ha ha! You don't need to do that stiffly, officially. Official Lily? But. Oh, yes, I heard the battle coach singing high praise about you, Lucas. I've heard that your battling skills have improved dramatically recently. That's outstanding, Lucas. I sure don't think I'd stand much of a chance against you. <laughs> I wish everyone wouldn't drown them with such gushing praise all the time. Lily! Lily! My son and daughter will become spoiled around. There's nothing to worry about. Both Lucas and Jovi are wonderful kids. Bon Jovi. By the way, I don't think I've seen Jovi since lunchtime. Lucas, I hate to bother you, but could you find go find Jovi for me? Lucas, I think you already know, but several research projects are in the critical phases in this lab. That's why your mother can't afford to take some time off right now, and it's so please, honey, will you go find Jovi for me? Yes. Thank you. I'm counting on you. I don't think she could have wandered off too far, but just in case, check outside too. I'm sorry, Lucas. After five long years, this project is finally on the verge of coming together. But for that to happen, we can't do without your mother's expertise. Oh yes, I left a uh, P Star D A in your room, Lucas. Go check it out. P Star D A stands for Pokemon Digital Assistant. It's a very useful electronic tool. A P Star D A can be used for email, among other things. I'm sure that you'll find its many features useful. It's quite easy to use, Lucas. I'm sure you'll have no trouble figuring it out. In my room. 
the heck is my room? I already talked to everybody down here, so... Outside we go. Hey, Lucas. Weren't you with Jovi? I saw Jovi with her Mimi earlier, so I figured you were with her too. Pie? Oh boy! The world of Pokemon is so deep, the more I study them, the more I am inspired by the fantasticalness of it all. For example, they have different types of abilities. Yes, I know how Pokemon works, so... Riley, my day was pretty good. My Pokemon and I were always together, even when we're sleep. We're just gonna ignore that one. Have I seen Jovi anywhere? Come to think of it, I haven't seen her since lunch. Pulse? La -pla. It's Lucas's room, but lately his kid sister appears to have run over the place. There's nothing there. Lucas found a P Star DA. Lucas obtained the P Star DA. If you're reading this email, then you must have obtained the P-Star DA. Try out its many features. By the way, Add-On was playing hide-and-seek with Jovi. Why not have a chat with him? Three potions. Okay, around this Pokemon, we use, place these regular Pokemon like so. Hi, Lucas. It's my job to assemble the basic data for the Purify Chamber. Even if the chamber is built, it will be useless without this data. Wow, you startled me. Oh, hi. It's you, Lucas. It's me, Adam. You're looking for Jovi? We're supposed to be playing hide-and-seek right now, but she isn't anywhere. Well, maybe she's gone off to Dr. Kaminko's manor. Adam, it's a big weird house southeast of here. Jovi's it in our game of hide and seek. I wish you'd find me soon. My back is starting to hurt. If she's in a totally different building, in a totally different location, I feel like you don't have to hide for the time being. Hi, Lucas. The lounge is noisy, so I'm going to see what the commotion is about. The TV news just came on, so maybe something did happen. Let's go see, Lucas. Plot, 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 plot. We bring you ONBS News. Authorities still have failed to find traces of the cargo ship SS Libra since its sudden disappearance off the coast of Gadion Ports. There have been no reports of float sand that may indicate the ship's sinking. The authorities appeared mystified by the way the ship vanished like smoke. There are reports that numerous Pokemon were on board. Concern is rising over their welfare. Wow, a cargo ship carrying Pokemon disappeared without a trace. Is that really possible? I'm finding it a little hard to swallow. My dog is being mischievous. The cider! The sound from the TV set appears to be disturbing the Pokemon. Well, turn it off! I already watched this once. I was trying to turn it off for the side duck. Quag. Hey, get down. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get down. Can I get some spice mugs in chat? Southeast of here? Are they going to get mad at me because I don't have a Pokemon? Kaminko's house. The peculiar manor that is home to the eccentric doc scientist, Dr. Kaminko. Dude, I've got a scooter! Is this Luigi's mansion? 
Mario. Mario. 360. Wait. Who goes there? Oh, God. You must be a burglar. Jobin will put you straight. Don't you move. Chobin is the name, and Chobin is the number one assistant to Dr. Kaminko. Chobin is the only assistant, so Chobin has to be the number one assistant. Sunkern? <laughs> Who uses a Sunkern? Uh, let's bite it. Professor Egan, I told you it was Luigi's Mansion. Chobin lost? Give me your money. That's right, 150... What's, what's the unit? What, what's the unit of dollar in Pokemon? You've made Chobin angry now. I'm gonna go kidnap a plumber. Even though Chobin lost, you're still not gonna pass Chobin. Huh? Closer observation reveals that the subject is a child. Ergo, Egan, the subject is not a burglar. Ahaha! <laughs> Corbin, Ch Chobin wishes you spoke right away. You're Lucas. Chobin apologizes for jumping to the wrong conclusion. Oh, Big Brother, what are you doing here? Oh, Jovi gets it. Big Brother, you lost. You got lost, didn't you? Why Why are they talking in the third person? Hey, <laughs> Jovi thought so. Big Brother, you look dependable, but then you make silly mistakes. This big house is Dr. Kamiko's. Dr. Kamiko's job is to make incredible invention. There's a whole bunch of neat machines like they have at the Pokemon HQ lab. You should come in too, Big Brother. Is this just Spike from Ape Escape, but all grown up? Lucas, you're that girl's older brother. Sometimes she comes here. She wanders around everywhere. Chobin finds it difficult, finds it hard keeping an eye on her so she do, that she does not bother the doctor. Oh, yes. Lucas, you will have a look at Dr. Kamiko's inventions. You will, yes. Okay, this way, please. Follow Chobin. Okay, Chobo will now show you the inventions of the es estimable, es blah, 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 inestimable Dr. Kaminko. Dr. Kaminko's inventions, it needs to be said, are number one in the world. Chobin is full of admiration. Oh? Why does Chobin know what they're number one in worldwide? That needs explaining. In the whole wide world, no one but Dr. Kaminko can invent such inventions. Therefore, they are a number one in the world without question. I mean, if I make the world's number one suction cup ceiling fan, of course I'm going to have the best suction cup ceiling fan in the world. Our Dr. Kaminko, who is very, verily great, is inventing in that room there. But is that Dr. Muto? What was that PS2 game? Dr. Mutato or something like that? Hi, Doctor. What kind of the funny machine are you making this time? Jovi wants to know. Uh-oh, that girl is Dr. Kaminko's side again. Chobin hopes she is causing no disturbance. Anyway, let Chobin acquaint you with some of Dr. Kaminko's greatest inventions. Like the VCR, or let the VCR roll. So I say he created a VCR roll? Dr. Kaminko's inventions are number one in the world. Chobin's choice is this. Ta-da, the unhealthy sandals. The insole is studded with lumpy nubs that fail to stimulate every pressure point in a fabulous way. Keep wearing these and Chobin will guarantee painful feet and chronic worsening of your health. Coben thinks it is superlative, a superlative. <laughs> Incredible, is it not? There's much more than that too. The doctor's inventions, which are fantastic, can be seen on this monitor. Chobin gives you permission to use this anytime you like. I'll pass. Let's just talk to Chobin. Or to Dr. Mutato here. Hmm. Ex incidentally, child, how long have you been here? Hmm. 
Jovi, please, can we go? Hi, big brother. This is a funny drawing. It's a really detailed drawing of a really weird machine. Huh? Are you going home already, big brother? But you just got here. Yes, I'm leaving. Oh, Jovi gets it. Jovi has to show you how to go home, right? I mean, I got here. Okay, that's what Jovi will do. Jovi will take you home. <clears throat> Mimi, let's go home with Big Brother. Mimi. Jovi, join the party. Okay, let's move out. Jovi was it again, Doctor. Bye bye. Dear Lucas, you appear to have traveled far in your search for Jovi. Please come back to the HQ lab as soon as you find her. I need your help with something. What is it? What is it? Email from the professor? He wants you to come home quickly? Jovi is worried about you letting me go by yourself, big brother. So Jovi will go home too. Let's go right now. Stop talking in the third person. Please. Should I do the rest of this episode in third person. Lucas, press the A button on the controller. Oh, hi, Mommy. We're back. Oh, Jovi, haven't I told you not to wander away by yourself? No, Mommy, you don't understand. Big Brother was lost, so Jovi brought him here. If Jovi wasn't there, Jovi bets he'd be crying by now, saying he can't go home. Right, big brother? Oh my my. Jovi, you are such a brave and resourceful- She's lying! But that's quite enough for today. Besides, Adon must be tired of waiting for you. Oh my gosh, I was in the middle of hide-and-seek. Okay, big brother, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Jovi has left the party. Lucas, thanks for finding Jovi for me. Oh, yes, Professor Crane wanted to see you. Lucas, go see him right away, please. Dude, this game's almost 20 years old. Uh, was this Crane? No, Crane was upstairs. Right? Yeah. Oh, Lucas, welcome back. Were you gone far away? Huh? The director? He went downstairs was the way I go. Professor Dane, didn't you bump into him? I did not. I guess I'll go back downstairs. He wasn't there like 30 seconds ago. Hi there, Lucas. I've been waiting for you. I wanted to show you how the snag machine works. Has Aiden said anything to you about the snag machine? No, can't lie. The snag machine is a special device for snagging Pokemon. The two of us, Aiden and I, were developing it. Now it's finally finished. I'd like to begin testing it immediately. Will you help us? Yes. Okay, step inside, please. I should tell you, the snag machine is an outrageous piece of work. After all, it's used for stealing Pokemon from another trainer in battle. But we didn't make this to steal Pokemon. Indiscriminately from trainers. Lucas, you've heard of shadow Pokemon, haven't you? They're Pokemon that have been turned into fighting machines after having their hearts closed by artificial means. They're to be pitied. We developed the snag machine to take back such modified shadow Pokemon. Why this machine is needed now, I can explain later. But for now, I'd like you to test out snag machine. After all, you're the best trainer at this lab. With a 32 HP Eevee. The snag machine is inside this case. Try equipping it right away, please. Full Metal Alchemist. Pokemon. Wow, it fits you perfectly. It looks cool too, Lucas. Also add a new feature to your P-Star DA. It's called the Shadow Monitor. It lets you check data on the Shadow Pokemon you've encountered. Whoa. Thank you, Aiden. That's it, Lucas. That's spot on. 
From here on, it will be a lot easier just to show you how it works in practice rather than trying to describe it. Let's go upstairs to the Battle Sim System Room. Whoops, how silly of me. I almost forgot to give you these. In order to use the stag machine, you need at least one Pokeball, so I'll give you these. Luke's obtained five Pokeballs. Pokeballs aren't used in the Ori region, so we import them from another region. Okay, now we're set. Let's hurry over to the director. Ah, yeah! What's going on? Who are you people? It's terrible, Lucas. Some strange men came barging in and took off with the director. Imagine getting kidnapped in 2005. Bruh! Bruh! Will you let go of me? Where do you think you're taking me? I'm taking you to your new lab, Professor. What? My new lab? Move it, we don't have any time. If you don't want to get hurt, hustle yourself into the car. You people, what are you? Ha! What is it, punk? You're gonna play hero and try and stop us? I don't show mercy to anyone, not even kids. Spy Naps would like to battle. What is that? The aura reader is responding. That's a shadow Pokemon. Hurry, Lucas. Throw a Pokeball at it. Player defeated Spy Naps. What was that? My shadow Pokemon. What was that? Was it a snag? Imagine stealing a Pokemon and getting paid at the same time. Kid, what is that time or what is that machine on your arm? Could it be a snag machine? What the heck is that doing here? That's big news. Come on, move. I need to report this to headquarters, like now. Like zoinks. Oh, I don't know where the yawns came from all of a sudden. Why, well, they took the professor away. She's in love with a different uh, scientist, so. Don't cry, Jovi. I'm sure Professor Crane will be okay. <laughs> We've contacted the police and the proper authorities about Professor Crane. They should let us know if they discover anything. I still can't believe that this is happening. Professor Crane predicted that someone will try making Shadow Pokemon. His prediction was on the mark. Lucas, the Teddy... Ted, Teddy... Teddy Ursa. Yeah, you snag probably was, isn't the only shadow Pokemon that was made. When the Purify Chamber is completed, we'll be able to save many shadow Pokemon at the same time. But, Professor Crane is crucial to this project. Without him, there's nothing we can do. Let's complete it. We'll finish the Purify Chamber ourselves. Lily? The director's not here. It's hopeless. There isn't any possible way to get it done. You're on the verge of finishing. This isn't the time to feel sorry for yourself. The Purifier Project <laughs> got this far, not just because Professor Crane was here. We got here because we all worked as a team. Having come this far, it would be wrong to stop now. Our pride as scientists is on the line. Let's finish the project as one. 
Things will get very busy around here. I'll go upstairs and check out the data processing. There's power, process, power, but whatever. I don't, progressing, there we go. How anime. I get it now. I understand why Professor Crane and Lily were in such a hurry to get this project completed. If Shadow Pokemon are being made somewhere by Crinvals, we have to restore them to their natural state by using our system. Do I go back upstairs? This basic data should be fine now. Keep going with it. Lucas, you came back at the right time. Might get you to run an errand for me at Gadion Port? We've ordered a special machine part for the Purify Chamber from the part shop. It's due south from here. It's not far, but be careful. Jovi knows the part shop. It's next door to Emily's house. Mommy, can Jovi go? Jovi wants to help everyone. Jovi, I appreciate your offer. I know you want to help, but it's an important component. Okay. Jovi, you're a member of the lab staff, too. You may go if you take Lucas with you. What? Wait, what? Wouldn't... Is it... Isn't she going with me? Didn't... Big Brother is Jovi... Yeah, she's going with me. I'm not going with her. She's going with me. <laughs> Jovi, rejoin the party. Off to the Gadion port. Yo. <coughs> Dude, that was a fun VOD. That was a fun uh, Game Pop Power Hour. Both of you, be very careful, please. I'm counting on you two. I never played an SSX before, so I was actually really excited to try it out. How are you doing today, Eliza? Hey, Lucas, Jovi, where are you two off to? I was told to... Jovi's on an important trip to Gadion Port. Big Brother is Jovi's assistant. Huh? Lucas is your assistant? Oh, you must be confident with such a good assistant. <gasps> but, but she asked me to go, and Jovi is joining me. Jovi was not asked to go, and I am not joining her. She is joining me. This is my... my task. Anyways, Lucas, could we ask you to hold on to that stag machine and use it? There may be other shadow Pokemon out there. If you spot one, rescue it from the criminals. I'll make approaches to the authorities and other Pokemon to have Pokeballs available for sale at shops. There's more. For sale? Why not just give me Pokeballs? I wanted to give you these, too. Lucas obtained the Crane Memo 1. Obtained Crane Memo 2. The documents on shadow Pokemon that Professor Crane and I compiled. Please read them. You know, I should figure that they would be items. Let's give them a quick glance over. How's this game going? I'm having a pretty good time with it. The snag system. Take the master protected. This is stuff we already know. Developed by Cypher five years ago. So people like the trainer to steal other trainers' Pokemon, but there's no other way to save Shadow Pokemon. So we must be the bad guys to be the good guys. It was originally designed to steal any Pokemon from trainers. It's immediately developed a system that snags only Shadow Pokemon and nothing else. Foreshadowing. Uh, the Aura Reader. It's possible for ordinary people to see a Shadow Pokemon from every Pokemon based on appearance. The service was based on Shadow Pokemon. That's a device that says Shadow Pokemon. We have the Hesitant Aura Reader. Okay. Yeah, that seems pretty straightforward. It seems like a nice shakeup from the standard formula. I just want to drive the moped. Wow, big brother, look! Look! It's the sea! The sea! It's so big! Yo, cat. Listen, listen, the part shop is over there. Hurry, big brother. Hey, now. This way, this way. I don't... Jovi. 
Ouchies. Jovi fell down. Hey, hey now. Where do you think you're going? Is that Johnny Bravo? Oh, sorry, Jovi, sorry. It wasn't on purpose. And look what you've done. <laughs> you messed up the happening <laughs> look of Zook. The coolest, baddest, and happening guy around the city. Gdn. Gdn. <laughs> Sorry, it doesn't begin to cut it. Huh? You there, yeah, you punk. You're with this munchkin, aren't you? And it looks to me like you're a traitor. Look, you're gonna... You look like you'll be a million times more fun than some munchkin. I'll stomp you flat with my shadow Pokemon. You shouldn't announce that you have a shadow. So, it's quite enough of that. Pokemon are meant to use such a manner. Choose your place and time. Shut it. Hey, meddling senior citizen, take your preaching to someone who cares. Or do you want me to pound you too? I think as long as Miku's in chat, you'll get points. Mr. Vareach, perhaps I should. Or is in the stream, like if she's if she's there. Ha! And who do you think you are? So now you're gonna play the man and stop me? This gets better by the minute. Let's see you try. Mystery man art sent out Alakazam! Oh, I get to watch a battle. Okay. Yeah, your power, where does it come from? You've done it now. Don't think you're getting away with messing with the great Zook. Remember this. What kind of walk was that? Should I give chase? No, no, that won't be necessary. He won't come back. Leave him be. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let us be on our way. Uh, thank you? Ho ho ho. Santa. They hardly deserve such gratitude, my little lady. We did only what had to be done, nothing more. Alright, he was sus. That whole gang was sus. Jovi? Is that you, Jovi? Oh, Emily and I a Acre? I'm gonna go with Acre. Jovi! So it was you, Jovi, being harassed by that big strange man. Were you okay? Yep, strong people helped us. Big Brother was there too, so nothing bad happened. Jovi came here on an important visit. Big Brother is Jovi's assistant today. No, Jovi is my assistant. Can we stop with this false narrative? Oh, you must be Jovi's bear brother, Lucas. I'm glad we finally met. I'm Emily. Hi, Jovi's big brother. Jovi's been a very nice friend of my daughter, Emily. That elderly gentleman's name is Mr. Verich. He comes here by boat with his two assistants occasionally. There's something mysterious about him, don't you think? He's supposed to be fabulously wealthy. Rumors like that give me shivers. I'm hoping to become a novelist. Whenever I come across anything mysterious, I try to imagine a story around it. Anyways, be careful in this town. There are lots of rough customers about. Emily, we should be going. Okay, bye-bye, Joey. Yep, see you, Emily. The shopkeeper wasn't thinking straight when he got that clue to see me to look after the shop. Now me, a regular customer, would be able to serve a customer a lot better. 
Hi, did you want something here? The shopkeeper's out right now. He said something about having to go out. Dr. Kamen, uh, was it now? Well, to the doctor's banner is where he went. He said his grandson, Purr, will be back from repairing the rotating bridges. So I'm supposed to mind the shop until then. But I don't know where anything is or how to ring up a sale or anything. I have no clue what to do. I suppose it doesn't matter, though. It's really quiet here. I'm getting awfully bored, really. If you like, you can help me out for a while. Some time away? If you'd like, how about you help me out while some time away? I've got a tale to tell that you might find interesting. What do you... Yes or no, chat? When I was younger, I sailed off the world seas as a navigator. Our world is huge, and this huge world is filled with an incredible profusion of Pokemon. All the Pokemon world, the one that I found the most interesting, is... We have an Eevee. Now, Eevee is a unique Pokemon. It can evolve into five different types. Little did he know. While I sailed, I studied Eevee quite exhaustively. As a result, I obtained five items that are key to Eevee's evolution. Oh, you say that you're raising an Eevee? What if we're two coincidence? This must have been meant to happen. Well, let me commemorate the occasion by giving you one of the five items. There's no need to be shy about it. Go ahead, choose one. Dozer. The choice is yours and yours alone. Since this is your playthrough. Or since this is your redemption. If he answers. Oh, damn. Uh... I want you to have a fun time, then I'm gonna pick Jolteon, because Jolteon's my favorite one. But I also want you to pick Umbreon. Glaceon is not an option. Jolteon is good. So we have a thumbs up on Jolteon. Thunderstone will make an Eevee evolve into a Pokemon Jolteon. It's easy to make your Eevee evolve with that Thunderstone. All you have to do is use it. Would you like to have the Thunderstone? Yes. Fine, you can have the Thunderstone, just like your Eevee. It's invaluable. Snow sucks. I hate snow. You're so lucky, big brother. Jovi wants something, too. Well, that was convenient. What the heck is this part shop? Jovi, when can we play again? I don't want to talk to you, Evie. This odd is just getting down. I've decided to give up my life on the sea for a life of dry land so I can raise the Oddish. One day I'll make it evolve into a vile plume. Or Blossom, that'd be great too. Whichever one I choose, I need a special item for that evolution to happen. We already went over this. Let's find this parts shop. Or was I already in the parts shop and that's where the storekeeper was away? It's probably the one that says shop across the top of it. Uh, welcome. Uh, welcome to the Pokemon. And, uh, what was I supposed to say? What doesn't matter? I've finally become the owner of a Pokemon Mart. Oh no, what am I saying? I'm so sorry. Hello, welcome to our Pokemon Mart. Serve you. Bye. You don't have what I need. I need parts. I'll sell you one Thunderstone. Munch. It's a Pokemon Center. Don't need to go there. Sure, there are many hotheads around these parts, but picking on kids like you is going too far. But that guy ran off. I don't remember seeing him around.
The sea is wide, it's fathomless deep. So full of Pokemon, it'll make you weep. Huh? What's up, kid? Were you captivated by my singing? Oh, you know, I placed second at the Crab's Cup music contest. Uh-huh, I bet you did. You did indeed. You now know how to bring a smile to my face. <laughs> Alright, so I was supposed to go to the park shop, but the guy's not there. He went off somewhere else. Where did he go again? Maybe if I talk to him? If you want to speak to someone from the shop, there's one repairing the bridge outside. That's who you should speak to. Thank you. Probably the way to leave, we probably shouldn't go that way. Now look here boy, the Krabby Club is only open to tough trainers. Well, I guess we're battling for it. One shot, let's go. Do 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 do. You're really quite wonderful. Thank you for my 120. The more you battle, the more strong your Pokemon should grow. It's up to you to put in the effort. There's no word forbidding anyone but tough trainers for entering the Cap Club. We have so much idle time on our hands, I decided to play a little prank on you. Ha ha ha. That scumbag. What's that, Cat? Oh, it's these guys. This Rich says there's important business under the Gaddion Port. We do a lot of traveling from here. When we get some rare time off, we like to relax. Don't mind these, really. I'll ask that you keep us quaint and part of your service. Honk! Cat with the game redemption. <coughs> oh, is that all? That was merely putting a fool in his place. Don't worry about it. Now I have 30 points. Dude, they're changing colors. Alright, where the heck is this broken bridge at? Am I am I just blind on the broken bridge? There hasn't been much for sailors lately. They've taken a willing time at the Krabby Club. There are all sorts of ghosts inside, but I wish those lugs would go back to sea already. Lugs your cruiser board behind the parts shop belongs to Mr. Beach. Oh. That's all the way on the other side. I figured I'd be talking to him from over here. Oh, that's why. That's why. That settles that. All fixed. You want to talk to me? Yeah, the part shop is ours. Huh? You need a machine part? Where's Grandpa? He's gone off to Dr. Kaminko's. R. When my Grandpa gets excited for some mechanical thing, he's off like a shot. Never mind. The shop for his grandson me. I'll find the machine part you need. Can I get you to come to our shop? Sure. Man, Grandpa would be so lucky to have a caring grandson like me looking after him.
Sorry, we're out of the machine part, you said, right? Here it is, there it is, here you go. I like this kid, this kid seems fun. It's a rare item, that machine part. It took a while to get the order in. How's the director, Professor Crane, doing? Ha! The HQ Lab's director was abducted by some goons with shadow Pokemon? I've been through something like that before, but who would have thought it'd happen again? I hope the lab director's found. I'll be rooting for you, so don't give up. Alright, back we go. Hmm. <sighs> I just want to drive the moped. Why can't I drive the moped? Oh, Lucas, could you wait just one second? I found some more memos I wrote from the director. Thank you. They give you basic information about Shadowport. I like to read them at least once. Maybe another time. But I gotta go talk to her first. Seems like the right hypothesis. Welcome back, Lucas. Was Jovi well behaved? We ran the errands like you wanted, Mommy. A big bad guy tried to stop us, but a nice person helped us. Oh no, really? I'll get the details later. What about the machine part? Thank you. With this component, we can get down to the finishing touches on the purifying chamber. I should take this down to the purifying chamber on the ground floor now. Oh, Jovi will take it. Are you sure? Don't drop it. Jovi can do it. Jovi's gonna drop it. How's your shadow Pokemon doing? The purification progress with the shadow Pokemon spends time together with its trainer. Has the heat gauge, has the heart gauge fallen to zero? No. Oh, but by the time the Fury Fire Chamber is completed, the heart gauge should be down to zero. If the heart gauge has fallen to zero, the Shadow Pokemon is ready to open its heart, but that isn't alone enough. To complete the process, the Pokemon needs to go through a purification ceremony. It's basically a ritual for it to return to its natural state. If the Purify Chamber were ready, it could go through the ceremony there, but it looks like it will need a little more time to get finished. Because of that, I think your Shadow Pokemon should go through the Purification Ceremony using a different process. There is a village called Agate, and the village is the Relic Stone, which has the power to restore Shadow Pokemon to their natural state. Then why aren't we building a machine if there's something already ready to go? It worries me a lot to send you off by yourself, but it's such a far off place to yourself, dear. But I also get something that only you can do, and it seems like 10 year olds everywhere in the Pokemon universe. Thank you. You know, Lucas, I'm so proud of how you're becoming more and more dependable. More dependable than Jovi. The relic stone, which is used for the purification, is under the care of a man named Igun. Alright, I will get in touch with him. Out the door. Out of curiosity, how long is the speed run for this game? I'm just curious. I imagine it's long, probably like three hours if I had to guess. That's some good music right there. Found one Pokeball. This is Agate Village, we're famous for the Relic Stone. You can consider this a retirement village. I like the look of determination in your eyes. When trainers lock eyes with you, there's only one thing to do, battle. Fufu. Here we go, baby. Oddish and Machop.
Motion turns to a fever pitch. Man, I love the animations. The animations are great. Deuces. Fun old man clerk. I bow to your skill and give me 224 pokey dollars. A fine battle that was. I assume we're going to the building with the big tree. Maybe not. I'm Baloo. You can say you've come to see calling my husband. Are you perhaps Lucas? I am! Just as I thought you are, Lucas. We've been expecting you. We got word from Lily. You see, we understand that you want to purify Shadow Pokemon. The answer my husband heard from Lily, we, you should have seen his excitement and enthusiasm. This calls for my services. Or some such. He went off running to who knows where. He hasn't come back since. Found him. Gandalf! Dear, I've got everything ready. We're ready for our visitor from the HQ lab whenever he ra- Oh? Oh, hello, dear. Our guest Lucas has just arrived. So you're Lucas, I've been waiting. I'm Egan. I've heard everything about Lily had to say. As you know, to purify a shadow Pokemon, it must open its heart to the trainer. While there are several approaches, battles are the best, no doubt at all. The place to do that here is the Relic Forest, which is home of the Relic Stone. I will go ahead and wait for you there. He's so impatient. In this day, he's held as the greatest trainer, but that's a long time ago. Are there some fun fan theories about, like, who he is in the old games or something like that? I assume I'm going back here. Seems like... No, I'm not going back here? Well, that sucks. Uh, there's the forest. Just gotta get down there now. That's not the way to go. Can I not get him? Okay. Well, how do I get down there? Cute little house that's in a tree. Aha! Thought you could hide from me. One super potion. Fo fo fo. Do you know who I am? I'm the teacher leader. I know all kind of moves. Seismic toss. Neither. Okay, well, I guess I don't want it. Another Pokeball. So this isn't the way to go. Feel free to let me know if I'm being blind since we're coming into the final minute. 
of the power hour. Like, I feel stupidly blind right now. Thanks for the berry. I don't want I don't want the berry though. I would like to go down the waterfall maybe? No? Get out of my way. Well, it looks like this is where the power hour is gonna end. Me cluelessly wandering around looking for <laughs> the forest. I think I've gone down every path. Maybe I just haven't gone in the right room. The daycare lady retired. But ladies and gentlemen, that's where the Game Pile Power Hour ends. Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. It's one I kind of wish we had more than an hour for, you know? Seems like we were just getting started and then the timer clicked up, but... It, I've never played a non-mainline Pokemon game before, and I gotta say it was pretty enjoyable. And I feel like once the story picks up a little bit, we get moving on a little bit more. I feel like the... Uh, the gameplay will kind of work out. I will say, I like the music. I think the music seems pretty solid. Got some good tracks in there, especially being a Pokemon game, you know? The music always pretty solid. The, my biggest issue with it, and it's the issue that I have with Colosseum whenever I watch it, is I'm just not the biggest fan of double battles. So I feel like the double battles probably would get a little stale for me after a while. I know some people really enjoy them. But maybe when you get into the higher levels... Of Pokemon and you're fighting stronger Pokemon and stuff like that maybe the double battles feel a little bit uh, a little bit better uh, I really like the animations of the battles I think the animations are great that's a good time and it seems like with its very story heaven driven thing uh, it seems like it would be a good little shake up whenever you're getting a little tired of the mainline series you know pop in uh, Gale of Darkness and I feel like they should make more of these I feel like I feel like it'd be really strong if they could like break away from that, have a mainline thing, a side thing, a mainline thing, a side thing, or something. I think that would be a good time. So Pokemon Galaxy, Gale of Darkness, though we didn't get too far into it, I will say I will give it a thumbs up of approval. I had a good time, and it's definitely, you know, I was kind of hesitant and never really interested in playing them. Uh, well, I was interested, but not like super interested. But now that I've put an hour into it, you know, I think uh, it's a game that I could see myself actually putting in and playing for the story and finishing it and grinding up the stuff. So I'm glad that we gave it a shot. Dozer, thank you for redeeming this uh, and bringing it to uh, bring it to light in my eyes. Chat, do you have anything that you want to add about Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness while I save the game? Trying to think if there's anything else. Stop talking in third person and repeating our name a hundred times in a sentence. I will agree with that. The writing seems to be a little, uh, little redundant. I would agree with that wholeheartedly. What's in the What's in the book? Is there anything good in the book? Man, my book is rough. Full color. <coughs> Sorry for the cough. Battle screen. Battle commands. Shadow Pokemon. Ooh, there's quick battle controls. That would have been nice to know. Yeah, yeah. So, alrighty, I think that's going to do it for this episode of the Game Pile Power Hour. If you enjoyed the video and you're watching on YouTube, come check it out live over on twitch.tv slash Lucas, where you can earn channel points and redeem the game of your choice for my backlog. And as always, uh, leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts about Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, if I should continue on and check it out more. Uh, what else is there? I think that's it. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to know the next time I release an episode of the Game Pile Power Hour or other videos on the channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'll see you all in the next one.